you can now use your WhatsApp account on up to four different smartphones. And this is exciting. Uh, although I still have some problem with WhatsApp when it comes to migrating all your WhatsApp chat history and media from one device to the other or from one platform like, say, Android to iOS, this is a great welcome development. And uh, I'm going to show you how you're going to get it started, especially if you're on the Android band. If you're ready for that, come with me. <laughs> Let's go check this out. <laughs> Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and I'm so excited to have you on today's own. I have waited for this feature. So now you can actually get WhatsApp to be in another phone while your main WhatsApp is in another phone, and you can do it up to four different devices. So let's jump straight into it. How are you supposed to do this? Okay, first of all, this is still a beta feature but then if you're not signed up for whatsapp beta what are you going to do well in this video i'm going to show you how you're going to get that and this will work for android users only um android allow you to install a third party app with apk from you know very third party sites so what you need to do is you need to open your browser straight away and then type latest whatsapp beta now you have to make sure that you have the apk beta apk that is up to 2.23.8.6 now, uh, if it's up to that, then you can download it and then install it, giving it permission to install from a third party. So this beta feature allows you to now link a WhatsApp app installed on another phone with your main WhatsApp account. And all you have to do is that install this beta. If you have finished downloading the APK, make sure that you have the APK, beta APK that is up to 2.23.8.6. And once you do that, open it and, you know, accept and continue. And when it comes to the point where WhatsApp needs to put your phone number to verify you click on that top menu uh three dot menu on the top right of the phone and once you do that you should be able to see an option to link to an existing account so once you do that it's still normal you know you scan the qr code and then your whatsapp will now move to the <laughs> new phone you can do it for up to three other phones making it your whatsapp being available in four different smartphones and you can receive chat make chat independent of each order and it you aren't anywhere you are and this is truly a feature i've waited for uh fortunately people who are using iphone and ios will not be able to do this because ios will not allow you to install an application from any third party sources yeah win for android on this one <laughs> So now let's finally go into the what are actually the setbacks or what are the limitation or the cons of doing this. Now, first of all, uh, there is a security risk of you trying to download from third party website because some of these APKs floating around as WhatsApp latest beta could be compromised with malware and other things. Uh, for me, I've always used uh, APK Miro <laughs> if I needed to get a third party APK. I've been using them for over uh, almost nine years now, you know, since 2014. So I have not had any problem with them. So I, I feel um, you can also scan, you know, some of this WhatsApp uh, app for malware if you, you know, not comfortable. But that's a security risk. So, so once you install that, and then you should be able to get it working. Then secondly, um, the second uh, con here is that you cannot add a contact that you've not added from the main WhatsApp. So if you have a contact that you have not saved in your main phone WhatsApp, you cannot be able to save it for it. So you can save the contact in your second phone, but it won't start displaying until that contact is saved uh, in the main phone and then it will now start displaying because it's actually mirroring what you have on your main whatsapp phone so that is an issue in case you want the third major con here is that you're still not going to be able to back up from the linked device you know and if anything happens or you are logged out you're definitely going to lose a lot of data especially chat history the save media will still be somewhere in uh, the phone even if you logged out uh, from the whatsapp link device uh, but that's it you lose all the chat history <laughs> and all that and also uh, in android is still installed in the android folder what means the number four is that if you for any reason uninstall your whatsapp you're going to lose everything you've downloaded before now on that uh, linked device in conclusion this is a very great development for me because 
I've been really, really, really annoyed with WhatsApp for not being able to give people option to be able to do things that you can do with Telegram, with Signal, whereby you don't need to worry about your chat history or media. They are all stuff for you. Uh, I understand WhatsApp is, you know, pushing encryption, but at least they can give people option to uh, be able to migrate easily, whether you are in Android, iOS, whether you are moving from one phone to the other. You can always have your WhatsApp and you can also have it on multiple devices. But this is a development. Let me hear it from you in the comment section. Let me know. Are you going to try this out? And um, until I see you in the next one, peace and love. The subscribe. I'll see you. Hey,